Welcome to the 7 Days Weapons Explained series. Today we've got machine guns. All demonstrations are done on insane difficulty, with skills appropriate to when you'd expect to acquire the weapons. Machine guns are essentially the most reliable weapon in the game when dealing with large groups of zombies. The reload times are reasonable for the amount of bullets they hold, and their ability to dish out pain is only beaten by weapons with severe weaknesses to play around, such as the shotguns demand you be close to your target, or the fact that the explosive might kill you just as quickly as it kills your target. If you're not committing your 7.62 ammunition to anything else, carrying a machine gun is an effective use of inventory space for any player when Horde Knight rolls around. Machine guns have no truly unique mods, but they are all affected by mods that affect the way the gun fires. Burst mod gives you a 3 round burst, ideal for carefully picking off zombies in a group while at range. The semi mod is ideal for a more nuanced player who wishes to stretch their ammunition but is less used later on in the game when sniper rifles start to acquire a decent magazine size of their own. Finally, the full auto mod is almost entirely useless, as this functionality is baseline for most assault rifles. That said, it's very, very good for anyone who acquires a tactical assault rifle, as this machine gun has the unique quirk of being a burst fire weapon baseline. It also has a higher fire rate than the AK-47 when done up like this, but more on that later. Machine guns can be used with three ammo types. The standard 7.62 is cost effective for a weapon that is anything but, and likely to be the ammunition you use most often. AP rounds exist, dealing a not insignificant amount of extra damage versus armored targets, all the way up to 100%. However, they're almost twice as expensive to produce. Lastly, there is the HP or High Power or Hollow Point 762. This does more damage outright than standard ammunition, but has an even steeper penalty against armored targets. It is more expensive than standard ammunition, but still cheaper than the AP variant. Of special note for machine guns is the Commando Adrenaline buff that comes with leveling up the perks. This causes you to regain stamina when shooting at targets, making it an incredible weapon to switch to in situations where you're exhausted. Not only does it slow down your approaching threat, but it gives you back the stamina you need to flee or return to melee combat. Like other guns, machine guns come in four tiers. At the very bottom, we have the Humble Pipe Machine Gun, which is just as shoddy and low performance as all the other pipe weapons. That said, it has the largest magazine capacity of any pipe weapon and acceptable damage for the early game. It consumes ammunition very quickly though, and that makes it a difficult weapon to use early on. Generally, it's safe for emergencies and end rooms of low tier POIs that try to flood the player with four to five zombies. Next, at the second tier of machine guns, we have the mighty AK-47. It's hard to believe this weapon is only at the second tier, as it remains effective all the way to the end of the game. It is twice the capacity of a pipe machine gun, and a fire rate in the range of what many players consider to be a sweet spot for prolonged automatic fire that remains accurate. Overall, the AK-47 is likely the strongest weapon in its class, that being the second tier of guns. So much so that the following weapon seems much less used due to the AK-47 being less demanding in what mods you use. At the third tier of machine guns, we have the Tactical Assault Rifle. This weapon is fantastic, with superior stats to the AK-47, but the demand that a player use burst firing baseline. If you enjoy burst fire, this weapon has no negatives for you, and is in fact strictly better. However, if you attach a full auto mod, it has higher rounds per minute than the AK as well. All of this said though, the damage per shot is only marginally better on the Tactical Assault Rifle, and for this reason it's not entirely necessary when compared to the AK, as they perform at extremely similar rates overall. Still, if you have it, it is better although some people still prefer the AK for just how good it feels to use. Lastly, at the highest tier of machine guns, we have the devastating M60. 
It shoots faster, does more damage, and carries more bullets than any other machine gun, making it a shoe in for any machine gunner's arsenal. The reload speed is slightly slower, though, which potentially makes it awkward if you don't finish combat in a single magazine. With the drum magazine attached, this weapon holds roughly 120 rounds at a time, making it very easy to handle most situations without actually needing to reload at all. Let's go. Cue the music. Wake up! Great through me. 